up, YouTube, and what to know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal, the completely randomized Nuzlocke, episode number 22. In the last episode, which was yesterday's episode, we made our way here, uh, no we didn't, we had already gotten to Mahogany Town. Uh, we had a grinding montage at the end of the episode, but during the episode we went to Union Cave and Slowpoke Well to make our way through those. Um, now that we have Surf and all of the access to that kind of stuff, nothing really too exciting. We were talking a lot about uh, me splitting my channel into two. Uh, but if you want to catch up on that episode, you can click on the link that's right there, the little eye at the top right of the screen, and it'll take you straight back to that episode so you can check it out. Uh, a quick overview of what we were talking about is I'm thinking about splitting into two channels. One channel will be all Pokemon, two videos a day. Um, this series would obviously stay where it is, along with whatever other LP. And then the earlier uh, in the day, we would have something like Pokken or TCG Online or TCG Openings or Showdown or Wi-Fi Battles or something like that. Um, <clears throat> so uh, anyway, anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on. In today's episode, we were going to go to Mount Mortar and explore through that just to finish the caves. But I can't really get anywhere in Mount Mortar without Waterfall. Um, so we're going to save that until we get Waterfall. I don't even remember when we get Waterfall. We get Waterfall. Oh, we pick up Waterfall in Dragon's Den. So once we finish that, before we go to the Elite Four, we'll go through Mount Mortar. We'll go see what our gift Pokemon is in Mount Mortar, etc., 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 etc. So the actual plan for today is going to be we're going to travel up to the Lake of Rage, meet Lance, and depending on our timing, which I forgot to start my timer again, depending on our timing, uh, we'll potentially start uh, in whatever's next. I'm going to act like I don't know anything. Um, so if you're excited for Pokemon Crystal, uh, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, if you still haven't, let me know. Let me know what you think about me splitting my channel in two in the comments below. Or you can go on my Twitter and vote in the, um, in the tweet that I continue to retweet for this week. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. Per usual, Lisa Scott, the swimmer, uh, is calling us. Good evening. This is Lisa. Are you awake? Listen, listen. I collect all kinds of Pokemon plush dolls, but I can't seem to get a hold of a certain Pikachu doll. None of my friends have, and it must be so rare. But you could you really brag about it if you have one? I'm gonna call you later. Like, who is that? I don't know. I don't know her. All right, let's do a quick party recap. Nothing changed from yesterday, so we're gonna speed through this. <sighs> We have jawed at our dark ice type fortress who is with ember ice punch mud slap headbutt stats are pretty average then we have sophronia our ghost type ponyta with high jump kick sleep powder triple kick and fly stats are pretty good for a ponyta then we have uriel our ice type mew with flamethrower cut fire blast fire blast when did you get fire blast and hyper fang uh, with good defense and good speed. When did you get Fire Blast? I don't remember this. Then we have Hohipa, Flying Ground Type Kingler, with Tri Attack, Cross Chop, Earthquake, Surf, and Surf, <laughs> uh, with low stats. Then, then, <sighs> then we have Goliath, our Electric Type Donphan, with Horn Drill, Sludge Bomb, Shadow Ball, and Counter. Counter needs to go away, but we have good special defense. Everything else sucks. And lastly, we have the strongest member of our team, that's Sarah, the Grass Poison type Dragonite, holding the Amulet Coin with Strength Rolling Kick, Dizzy Punch, Octazooka. And stats are pretty low, except for that defense. Attack's not bad, special defense is not bad. That's our squad. Jaw Dad's gonna lead us today. Let's get it. Alright, alright, alright. I did not think of any question of the day. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do anything in preparation for today. Let's get an encounter here in Mahogany Town. Let's get an encounter here in Mahogany Town. Also, I need to reset the music because that music was very quiet in yesterday's episode. Which is okay because we were speeding up a lot. Is this happening right now? What is happening? What is happening? Alright, hold on. Let me turn this up just a touch here. Oh, oh! I'm not sure if that changes it for you or what, but then I'm going to change it back here. This definitely changes it for you. All right, so this should be back to regular levels of audio and there doesn't seem to be any Pokemon there. So, <clears throat> all right, Jawdad, show me what you got. Show me what you got, Jawdad. 
I'm still, I don't know why I'm so hyped the last couple days. Uh, but let's do this. You're going against a Psyduck. Psyduck. I don't have any, I don't have good voice impressions. I don't have good voice impressions at all. Ice Punch always misses. Why would I expect to do anything there? Oh my god, that's a, that's a bl bl bussy. Mud Slap is so broken. I think we got Mud Slap in the last episode. Um, transform into the electric type. Lol. Ponyta. Sophronia. Are you flying type? What type is Sophronia? Ghost, 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 ghost. Shame on me for not knowing that. Uh, let's use Headbutt. That's a Headbutt. Shout out to the Cypher 2016. All right, let's go. All right, I'm gonna go walk up in this door and see what I No, I'm not. Look, if you've never played Gen 2 games, first off. <laughs> second off, don't walk in that door. They'll take your money. All right, we got a Magnemite. That's kind of... I mean, I mean, we got a Magnemite, so. All right, uh, we're just gonna, oh! Magnemite knows Hyper Beam. Let's go ahead and we're just gonna throw a, not a park ball, let's throw a great ball at it. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, well this will give me time to pull up the uh, random name generator. Uh-oh, oh! I have it, I have it pulled up already. That's right, I was... Okay, I wasn't prepared. I just had it pulled up from a couple days ago. Change settings! It doesn't matter what gender. Go! No, not... Oh my god. Oh my goodness! Okay. Magnemite, the Magna Pokemon. The electricity emitted by the units on each side of its body caused it to become a strong magnet. Give Magnemite a nickname? Show! His name is, why do I feel like this fits a Magnemite so well? I didn't need to do that. His name is Ezio. Ezio is transferred to Bill's PC. We will check him out once we get back around that way. Are you going to Lake of Rage 2? Like, let's play for a while. Wait. She's suggesting things and I'm not on board with it. I did not give my consent. Oh my god, Jawdat, calm down! That said, not very effective. That's not what I saw. That's not what I saw. You ain't gonna care. What is that music? Did you hear that music? I wish I wouldn't have. I wish I wouldn't have played, uh, gone through it. That's funny. All right, so these levels are so low. I should have taken these out in a grinding montage, but whatever. I think we decided that I'm not gonna do routes in uh, grinding montages. I just feel like, I don't know, I, I have so much fun playing through the routes and stuff like that, so we're going to leave him in, we're going to leave him in. Ooh, a Magna, or a, yeah, that was a Magnemite for all of you new and inspiring Pokemon trainers, that was a Magnemite. Alright, Jawdad is like, our whole team is great. Alright, who do you, who is your favorite member of our team? That's the question of the day. What episode are we on? Episode, oh, oh Houndoom looks Awesome! Houndoom, Houndoom looks really cool. We're gonna use Ice Punch, he's gone. I just realized that was a, that was a wild Pokemon. Anyway, um, who is your favorite member of my team? <sighs> Level 11? Get out of here. Oh my god, why did I gain so much experience? Level 11? I mean, I don't care like if you're super effective against me. Why are you, why are you so weak? Why are you so... Oh, oh, Ghost doesn't affect, so that means it's a, uh, it's a Dark type. Right? Yeah. Headbutt! Maybe. It's secondary typing might have prevented that from being super effective. That was super effective. Ooh! People are right. Oh god, we have to have cut. I have to teach cut to somebody. Uh, oh wait, cut's a good move. What am I talking about? Uriel has cut. Uh, let's go this way first. There should be like two TMs or something like that. So we are we are in the Lake of Rage up here. We could get a... You know what? Our surf encounters have been amazing. So our surf encounter... Our first surf encounter was like Mew. No, it wasn't. But that was one of our surf encounters. Uh, what did we just pick up? 32? Is that right? Heal Bell? Probably, because I would have sold Heal Bell otherwise. All right. Uh, what's this way? Oh! Oh! I found a house. You have strayed far. 
Here I have meditated. Inside me a new power has been awakened. Let me share my power with your Pokemon. Take this, child. Is this guy Guru? Oh my god! Look at this! This guy is Guru from Dragon Ball Z! I'm freaking out right now! Oh my goodness! Because he's a big guy. Guru is big. And he gives you a hidden power. Gu Guru unlocked hidden power potential. Oh my goodness, I found Guru. It's Cross Chop. Oh! Okay, all right, all right. We're, we're, getting, we're getting a little crazy. Jada can learn it and Hohipa can learn it. Cross Chop is ground type. Hohipa is flying ground. He already knows it. All right, that, I have to remember that. Ohipa gets, uh... No! Thank you. Uh... Will this tree take me where I want to go? Oh, oh, I found it. Oh, I got a... Ah, oh, man. Okay, well, HP up is good, so let's just get rid of this. Stop it. <laughs> Alright, let's go around here. No. Because there should be another TM. Hardstone. Okay. Let's go back. So let's see. Talking about who our favorite member of the team is. I don't have a favorite. I love all my Pokemon. Oh, Uriel's my favorite. What the heck am I talking about? <laughs> That's kind of unfair because Uriel is a, uh... Jawdat! Oh my god. Nobody wants... Nobody wants to take my team on. I'm telling you, my team is... My team is crazy. Are you a trainer? Okay, I don't need to go over there. Doesn't this guy do something with the... Okay. Uh, well, let's just... The Gyarados are angry! It's a bad omen! Let's do encounter first. It's a Blissey! Ooh! That's our joy! From, um, red and blue. Or from our yellow, red and blue. What am I talking about? Sleep Powder! Okay, this is gonna be a difficult one. But, stay on the ball! Stay on the ball! Stay on the ball! Oh my god. STAY IN THE BALL! STAY IN THE BALL! BALL STAY IN THE... Ooh, jeez. There's, there's no way I can hit it with anything, right? I don't have Dragon Rage anymore. I don't want to use a special ball on this thing. How about a Pokeball? Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we caught ourselves a Blissey. Let's go ahead and pull this up. Feminine. Generate a name. We have Blissey, the happiness Pokemon. Biting into one of the delicious eggs that Blissey provides will make everyone around smile with joy. Okay, I got you. Blissey. Oh. Oh. Blissey. Blissey. Blissey got that name. Blissey's gonna be called Jojo! Jojo the Blissey. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and switch Sophronia in front. And let's go ahead, actually, let's save just to make sure that nothing weird happens. And let's take it on. I don't know, I, I can't do a Gyarados impression. I, I, I was taking a breath in to do a Gyarados impression. Are you kidding me? Is this actually- well, okay. Alright, alright, hold on. Hold on. Actually, I just realized how broken that could potentially be. I just realized how broken that could potentially be. Uh, here. Metapod. <gasps> In hindsight, I did know that was gonna happen. Uh... <laughs> I, I caught it. 
Metapod, the cocoon Pokemon. This is a pre evolved this is its pre-evolved form. At this stage, it can only harden, so it remains motionless to avoid attack. Give a nickname to Metapod. Yes. Metapod's nickname, he is a male. So the way park balls work, I think they always catch Pokemon. Because it's not meant to not meant to to work like that. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. His name is. Erlinger. All right. And I obtained the red scale, but I don't have... Oh, key items. Who is this guy? Oh. Another joy. Get out of here. All right. Hey. <clears throat> Let's see. Lance. Okay. This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else. So the Magikarp are being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? You're Domino? I'm Lance, a trainer just like you. I heard some rumors, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Domino. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Sure, let's do it! <clears throat> it seems that the lake's magic are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is the cause. I'll be waiting for you, Domino. I got you. Hey, hey, you think you're cool and could just fly out of here? Hey, I can do it too, homeboy. Homeboy. All right. So let's run up in here. Oh, my computer's about to buzz. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna catch it before it does it. Caught it. All right. Uh, so let's withdraw. I wanna. Let's first look at Ezio. Ezio, the flying ice type Magnemite. So with this thing we get bodied by ground or by rock type moves for sure. Shadow Ball, which is good. Rapid Spin, which is good. Beat Up, which sucks. And Hyper Beam, which sucks. Pretty low stats as you'd expect. That speed stat is absolutely pitiful. Goodness gracious. Oh no, not, not you. Not you. Not you. Okay, next up we have Jojo, the rock poison type Blissey. So a ground type move and this thing explodes off the face of the planet. Holding a dire hit. With Sacred Fire, Spite, Psych Up, and Conversion. So JoJo's going to stay right where she is. Though that defense and special defense are great. And lastly, is Erlinger, the Dragon Ground type Metapod. With Dream Eater, Sacred Fire, Cross Chop, and Amnesia. And those stats are pretty bad. Hmm. I want to evolve, I want to level this thing up once. And evolve it. But we'll do that in the next episode. We'll do that in the next episode. Let's go ahead and heal. And let's go ahead and... and uh, I think this is the building that we're supposed to go in. <gasps> Lance, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, Lance, why would you attack like that? Okay, anyway. Um, <clears throat> what took you, Domino? Just as I thought, that strange radio signal was coming from here. <clears throat> Dang, you just shoved him over. The stairs are right here. <laughs> Domino, we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. What's, what does this guy say? Arr! You found the secret stairway. He's a pirate. Arr! Arr! Uh, that guy, Dragon, be tough. I gotta work on my pirate. Oh my goodness. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my gosh, I've seen some people play through this and not know what they're supposed to do to make this stop. So they just challenge these same Elite Four pe or same Team Rocket people over and over and over and over and over and over. And I'm like, what do you, you know you can just uh, like turn them off, right? And they're like, what? Like, yeah. It's my turn, there's no escape. Yeah, I'm sure. But see, he lies right there, because there is an escape, and I'm going to show you what the escape is. Ooh! That Squirtle tough. Try to learn Shadow Ball? Yes, you can learn Shadow Ball. Goodbye, Triple Kick. Use Shadow Ball. Actually, would High Jump Kick do more? See, that's why I like High Jump Kick, because it... Oh, crap. I like high jump kick because it doesn't do, uh, you're not going to kill me. Yeah, I'm going to kill you. All right, let's see. 
When does Ponyta evolve? I want to! I want it to evolve. Okay. Um, how about Hohipa? Now look. Look, look, look. I'm gonna come down this way first. The first thing I'm doing is coming down this way. I gotta battle this guy. And then I'm gonna show you what most people do when I say, oh god. Alright, I need to heal first. Don't kill me. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh! That's not good. Oh, I thought I miscalculated. Oh my goodness! I definitely thought I just miscalculated. I, w I thought we were about to have a death. Alright, so this is what most people do. Most people go... Oh, a poison barb. Oh, I keep forgetting. Uh, actually, hold on. Let's go do this real quick. Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> ah! Okay. Um, so let's go here. Deposit. Scroll way down. Alright, I... Powers up rock type moves. I don't know anybody that has rock type moves that we use often. HP up can go away also. Moonstone can go away. Twisted Spoon. I know who I want to give that to. Fighting type moves. I don't know any fighting type moves that we use often. May prevent fainting. That's a stupid item right now. We'll keep that. <coughs> Powers up water type moves. Okay. Amulet coin will keep. Full heals will keep. Hyper potions will keep. Why do I still have a berry? Sharp beak. Do I have flying type moves? Maybe, but I'm gonna have to look at all this stuff. Charcoal. I don't have any fire type moves. Not that I remember. Leaf stone. King's rock. I have two of those. I'm gonna give those to some people, but uh, okay. So here, twisted spoon. I'm gonna give to Sarah because she has. Okay, and then quick claw. Let me find out who my slowest mon is. Real quick, real quick, and then we're going right back in. 46, 69, 87, 111. Goodness gracious me, you're awesome. 78, 65. So Hohipa gets the uh, Quick Claw. Mystic Water goes to whoever has uh, Mud Slap. So you have Mud Slap. I think that's it. Okay, so let's give the Mystic Water to Jawdat. And then I'm gonna give Mew an amulet coin, and I'm gonna give Goliath an amulet coin. All right, so Sophronia, oh my God, leave me alone. All right. So just a little more in here, which I was stupid. Oh, never mind. So, all you do is you run down here. Now I can pick up this poison barb and you click this computer. A secret switch, plus it! The switch is turned off. So now when I run past the next one, there's nothing. Nothing. It's all turned off now. Okay, now there is somebody up there, so let me actually go around. I picked up a thunderstone. That could come in useful, just depending on what our encounter right now. We can get an encounter in here as well. So we're going to get to pick up something in here. And then we're going to be done for the day. Um, I don't, Is this, like, not the order that I'm supposed to do this stuff in? Because these levels... I've never understood this. The levels in here... Oh, that's not very effective. But... Just hold this. Almanite? Goodbye. Thanks for trying. All right, uh, let's go ahead and put Sophronia back in front because we do have a Pokemon here. Now let's see what we get, let's see what we get. So our rocket hideout encounter is an Abra. We already caught an Abra. So we're gonna call dupes. Okay. I can't escape apparently. So I, I'm just gonna have to kill it. A Noctowl. Okay, I do not have a Noctowl. So let's go ahead and put it to sleep. Um, am I excited about a Noctowl? I'm really not. So if it lives the high jump kick, I'll catch it. Okay, good. And it'll live too. That's, that's actually... Alright, we're gonna pretend like we did not see that happen. <laughs> uh, let me go heal. 
And then we're gonna call it a day. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, um, I know that we're supposed to evolve that shiny Metapod. Um, okay, you know what? Actually, let's close the episode by doing just that. Because it is a shiny Metapod, so that's like, that's actually kind of hype. Uh, so let's deposit Sophronia just for now. Sophronia is not going anywhere. Like, she would not be the Pokemon that, that got, uh, that got removed. Um. So, there was, there's, there's gonna be a cut right there. Um, nothing happened. Uh, I just decided to put the grinding, uh, I just decided to cut it out. Because it just took me too long. Um, now, Erlinger went through two evolutions before it came to something that doesn't evolve. Um... And I don't think we're going to use it. So we're going to go ahead and do it and talk about it now. So Erlinger started as a Metapod, then evolved to a Paris, and then evolved into a shiny Persian. Flying electric type with Dream Eater, Sacred Fire, Cross Chop, Amnesia, of course. The stats are pretty low. And so I'm a little, it's not really exciting to use that. I know it's shiny and all that, but I think we're going to deposit Erlinger right there. And we're going to scroll down and pick up our Sophronia again. Um, so that is going to do it for today's episode. Um, in today's episode, we did not take on Mount Mortar as we had initially planned. Uh, instead, we made our way um, to the Lake of Rage. Uh, and then made our way through the first, um, the first level of this rocket hideout. In the next episode, which will be tomorrow, we're going to head down these stairs, find Lance, and take out the rest of this, and potentially go ahead and take on Price and the Mahogany City Gym. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. If you enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and show your support by leaving a like and subscribe if you are new. And we will see you tomorrow with more Pokemon Crystal, the completely randomized Nuzlocke. Until then, have a blessed day.